this problem and these problems that are statically indeterminate. Problems where if you did the statics, and you should do the statics, go ahead and start, go ahead and attempt the statics and say, oh, maybe it's, maybe it's a statically determinate problem. All right, but if you do the statics and you, you need one more equation, you have too many unknowns, our, equa our extra equation is our compatibility equation, and that compatibility equation is something about the delta L. You know, something about the change in lengths of some of these. So this one right here, uh, if we push, pull down with a force of P is 340 pounds, um, let's solve for the forces in cable C and cable D. And if I know the forces in cable C and cable D, then I can answer the question about the stresses in wire C and wire D. All right, so I'm starting with statics. Uh, I, I like to sum the forces, uh, but summing the forces in X doesn't help me. I like to sum the forces in Y. Let's see, A, Y. I drew it up, F, C. I drew that in tension, F, D. I drew that in tension, minus 340, equals zero. All right, so there's one equation. Uh, here's my other equation. I think this third equation is really going to be the best, most helpful equation right here. Right, that FC times its moment arm of 20 inches. Uh, we're going to call that positive or negative. I, I would call that positive uh, counterclockwise. Uh, FD, it is 50 inches away. And then P is 66 inches away. This is static equilibrium. So uh, some of those equals zero. So this equation right here. I think the y equation, it's true, but it, it gives me another unknown, a y. So if I use that, I would have another unknown. But the main thing is this equation right here, I've got two unknowns, f, c, and f, d. Right, I've got two unknowns, but only that one equation to solve for them. If I use the other equation, it would give me another equation, but it would give me another unknown. So what's our compatibility? What's our compatibility? What about the delta L? Uh, of, of wire C and the delta L of wire D, are they, are they equal to each other? No. Do they add up to zero or something? No. But are they a ratio of each other? Can you see these triangles? Let's look at this pink triangle right here. <clears throat> I would say delta L which would be this side right here, delta L over 20 inches would be the same as the delta L of wire D over 50 inches, right? So let, let me write that. <clears throat> the FL over EA, FL over EA over 20, is equal to the FL over EA of 50. Uh, but let me be careful, because those aren't the same Fs. Uh, this is the force inside C. That's the force inside C. This is the force inside D, uh, which, which is that right there. Do they agree? Let me make sure that my positives and negatives agree. Um, I drew them in tension. Um, and it actually it doesn't quite matter because as long as left-hand side and right-hand side of my equation agree. agree. Uh, but yes, th those do agree. Uh, also, this be careful. This is the length of D. This is the length of C. This is the E of D, the E of C. So just make sure the F, the L, the E, the A is for wire C. The F, the L, the E, the A is for wire D. All right, so let me do the math, plug in what I can. FC, what is the length of C? That would be that length of C, 18 inches. The original 18 inches over 20 is, is from there, but over the E for that wire, was it given to me? I could probably cancel out if they're the same, uh, same material. Both wires have the same cross section. Both wires are made of the same material. I, I could go the long route and plug in 30 
times 10 to the 6 on the left hand, but I could plug in 30 times 10 to the 6 on the right hand. If they're the same, then I could cancel those out. Also, if they're the same, I could cancel the A's out. Okay? But the L's are not the same. Okay, so I'm going to leave it as that. Equals FD. Its length originally was 36 inches over 50 inches. Okay, if you don't like to take too many shortcuts, you could, you could put E and A and E and A right there. All right, now I have two equations, two unknowns. Two equations, two unknowns. All right, so I'm skipping a little bit, but I write one in terms of the other, plug back in right here. I've got FC is, sorry, 272 pounds and FD 340 pounds. Now, will it always equal the, the force? No, we could probably figure out why it is equal to the same force. So I, I was about to box that in, but the question didn't ask for that. The question asked for the stress. The question asked for the stress. So the stress in wire C would be 272 pounds over the area, 0 0.0272 inches squared. So 10,000 pounds per inches squared, PSI, pounds per square inch. Cable D, the force divided by the area 272 12,500 PSI okay and I don't think I have the answer to part B uh, that was the main part if, if it, does it say it in yours Find the downward displacement of B at the end of the bar. So if we wanted to find this delta L, uh, then we would, it, it still is a ratio. So that delta L over 66 would be equal to FL over EA over 20 or the FL over EA over 50. Um, I don't have those values right there, but I think you could, you could find that. Also, sometimes it might ask you, okay, what is the delta L of cable C? So, so I, I would come back here, plug in that force, plug in that length over 20, uh, sorry, over EA, sorry. I, I, I would find, okay, FL over EA of C. Now that you know the F, you can, you can find it. Okay, let's step back and look at that. Statics. Still need statics. One equation, maybe two equations from statics. And keep that equation. So you're going to go back and plug it back into that. And then our other equation was something about the delta L's. And so if we know that, then we can find the forces. Then if we know the forces, we can answer the question about the stress. Now, sometimes a question will actually tell you the stress. Sometimes the question will actually tell you the stress. Maybe, it's, uh, maybe, it, maybe it'll say, hey, what force P will give cable C a stress of 20,000 PSI? Okay. Don't try to do this problem backwards, but if you are given the stress for a material, for a beam, you're really being given the force inside that beam. Correct? You know, if, if I give you the stress for cable C and, and you know the area, then you really know the force in cable C. So I would still do this, these statics equations. That one right here would be known. This one right here would be a P. And so we, we, we'd end up with kind of the same number of equations, same number of unknowns. So don't be alarmed and don't freak out if you're given the final stress, then you're really being given the force, but you, you, you can still use these two equations. If you're given the force, 
then you would use this to find the force in D. And then once you know the force in D, okay? So, you know, I, generally a lot of these problems in class, I kind of work, work the same way straight through. Um, but just, yeah. Don't be alarmed, especially the homework and some test problems. If I give you the stress, then we give you the force, and then take that force and still run with statics and compatibility. Statics and compatibility. 